Hey, aloha my internet family. How are you? Welcome back to Practical Printing. I think today it's time to talk about the Build Tac Flex Plate system. You ready? Let's do it. So about a month ago at Bay Area Maker Fair, I got to spend some time with Kayla in the BuildTac booth and she showed me the new flex plate system. Since I had a bunch of upgrades planned for the Monoprice Maker Select, uh, aka the DI3 or Wanhao DI3, um, it seemed like it was a fitting add-on for the system. Now I'd started a few weeks back doing the Cohesion 3D Smoothie mainboard upgrade and we're going to be doing the BL Touch uh, auto leveling or assisted leveling upgrade soon. Um, but anyway, I talked to Kayla and she made arrangements to get this down to me. So this is the built TAC flex plate system and I believe she threw in a couple of extras for me. So let's start by opening up the box then I'm going to walk you through removing the old bed material on the DI3 we're going to install the flex plate system and we'll wrap things up about there. Okay, we're going to start by opening up the box. First thing we're going to do is pull out the packaging material and set it aside. Then we have the BuildTac spatula. That's going to come in handy. We've got two envelopes inside the box. Let's pull those out, set the box aside. The first white envelope looks like it's got, uh, let's see, some spare sheets of Biltac in it. Okay, we'll set that aside for now. And then we'll open up the main envelope, which should be the flex plate system. Now this is the 203 by 203 millimeter or 8 inch by 8 inch system. Uh, it looks like they threw in a couple of stickers, a sheet of build tac, a couple of instruction sheets, uh, one for the build tac and one for the flex plate system. And then we have the flex plate base with the magnets on the back that will get stuck onto the glass for the DI3. And we have the flex plate piece itself, which the sheet of build tack will go on to. So we're going to start by lifting off the glass on the DI3. Now I have the glass held on by a silicone transfer material. Uh, some people call it gin pad. We're going to set that aside for now. And I have the bed preheated already to 60 degrees. So we're just going to start with a, a scraper or a putty knife in one corner. And just start working a bead and slowly peeling it up a little bit at a time. And once we have it going, we'll uh, see if we can put things into hyperdrive and maybe try to get things a little bit faster. Um, I'm just going to work it up little bit by little bit all the way across the bed. We're going to see how it goes and pull it up. The goal is to get as much of the glue and the adhesion off with it as we can here. And of course we don't want to gouge the aluminum with the scraper while we're doing it. So try to hit it from as many angles as we can and get as much leverage on it as we can to keep peeling it off. There it goes. And we're just going to use the glue residue and try to get some of the glue boogers that are left on the bed and try to peel off as much of that as we can. Make it easier for the next step to, uh, to remove that glue residue here. So we're just going to set that aside and we're going to come back and we have some pro strength goof off here. Now we're going to just 
shoot this onto the bed. And a note to self is I probably should have been wearing latex gloves. Um, I also have the bed cooling by now, uh, so it's no longer getting heated. Fold up a paper towel, and we're just going to start working it in circles to try to soften that goo up a little bit at a time. We use the scraper lightly and, our, of course, our fingernails. And we're going to get all the glue residue off of the bed. And it's uh, actually quite a process, and it was probably the most time-consuming part of this whole thing. One thing you do want to do is there's a hole in the center of the bed there, and you want to make sure that you don't get anything sprayed down into that hole, any of the, um, the goof off or any other materials. Uh, that's where your thermistor sits that reads your temperatures for the bed, so you don't want to get any, any gunk on that. And once we have it off, we're going to come back. I have a spray bottle full of distilled water. We're just going to shoot some of that on there. Again, I probably should have been a little bit more careful about the hole in the center of the bed, but it should be fine. The distilled water should uh, act as a neutralizer for the goof off so that the, the adhesive removing residue uh, stops. And we're, uh, we're going to put the build plate back on, this time on the bare aluminum surface. And once we set it in place, the, uh, the Geno pad is going to hold it where we want it and keep it from sliding. So we're going to clean that off now. Now I like to use just a piece of Mr. Clean uh, Magic Eraser. I'm going to spray some of that distilled water on there. And the combination of the two should get any hairspray or glue residue or anything that you have off of there. It's going to work really, really, really fast through this. Some might say ludicrous speed. And we're going to just make sure we get everything off that is not clean there. And we're going to wipe it down with a paper towel just to get it dry. Make sure that there's nothing left on there. And uh, Okay, at this point we are ready to go back and follow along with the installation. So there's Two sets of instructions here, like I said earlier. The first one is for installing the build tack surface on front, I'm sorry, on top of the plate. The second one is this set for installing the build tack surface onto the bed. So now that we're all cleaned up, let's start there. So start by placing the magnetic mounting base on your printer to verify that it will fit your print bed and make sure that your print bed is clean and free of debris. Use the pull tab to remove clear liner from magnetic mounting base exposing the adhesive. Okay, let's do that. Let's place it on there and see how it fits. Now it is going to stick over the glass just a hair, so we're going to have to try to get it just as close as we can. Oh, actually, if we put it this way, it'll stick off the sides just a hair, but it will go front and back. So let's rotate our glass there. Just holding that nice and snug. Okay. And we have that clean. We have this thing sticking all over the place, but it is going to fit like that. We know it's going to stick over about a millimeter on either side. And have about two millimeters in the front. So let's start there. One thing I do want to show you, if you can see it here, when I was using the goof off, I accidentally spilled a drop on this when I was opening it. And uh, the goof off did eat into uh, the surface just a little bit. So it's not going to impact what we're doing because we're not printing on this. But it's worth pointing out that this material is not 
goof proof, goof off proof. Okay, so let's peel off and expose our adhesive. And expose our sticky. I'm going to try to get this in here centered. Best I can. And we're going to press that down. Solution and align the magnetic bound place over the print surface. Twist permit to here. Start at one end of the base and work your way to the other. Ensuring the magnetic base is flat and completely adhered to the plate. Okay, we'll force our way back. Okay, that is on. Now wipe down the bare flex plate, which is this guy. Now, I don't know if it matters which side is up or not. Ouch. That side's shiny. That side has the sticker. But I'm going to peel off the sticker since I don't know if this matters here. Because that side's not pretty. And that side does have the, the, if you can see it in the mirror there, the laser etching. All right, so we're going to peel that off. I'm just going to let the magnet hold that. I'm going to reach around here. Grab the bottle of IPA, isop isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to crack the top on that. Uh, grab another sheet of this magic paper towel here. going to wipe this down. Now this isn't where it's going to get positioned on the magnet, but it's a nice convenient place to hold it while I do this. Okay. The IPA works great to make sure that there's no fingerprint grease or anything like that that's going to impede the way this stuff sticks on. We are going to grab the sheet of build tack. Start from one edge of the face, face pl flex plate and work your way to the other edge, smoothing the build tack sheet with a credit card or decal applicator. Okay, so I want to size that just to Make sure that it lines up all four corners and that's a perfect fit. And I'm going to stand up over this. I'm going to start pulling back on the edge here. back just enough to expose it and if
line up that edge like so. And whilst I don't have a credit card, I am going to use this. Just a uh, Now, this can snap on like so, and you now have your new build printing surface. Prints over, this pops off, give it a little flex, and you're done. So I noticed that there's no keying or anything, so it's not necessarily going to end up on that magnet the same place twice, but at least the height will be level every time. So that's about it. Um, it's installed. Our next steps are going to just be to level the bed and start a print. And um, <clears throat> I think I'll, uh, I'll leave it at that for this video. Um, mainly wanted to cover the unboxing and the installation and we have it installed so I will uh, post some follow-up pictures on social media on uh, how well this thing prints uh, make sure that there's no issues with warping uh, you know because the aluminum plate on here does warp as it heats up and that's why I went over the glass but we'll see what it does Okay, I think we're going to call that good for today. Videos are already starting to get pretty long. So the next step for me is to spend some quality time leveling the bed and then get some prints out. I want to try various materials, PLA, PETG, um, et cetera, et cetera, and see how the different materials adhere to the bed and, and if any assistance is needed, uh, you know, glue stick or hairspray for any of the other materials. Um, may also like to try some nylon. I'm very curious with the way that warps to see if it's going to pull the magnet system up or if that's going to be able to hold it in place. So stay tuned for a future review of the flex plate system uh, once I get a little bit of time with it under the belt. For now, I will leave you with that. If you like the video, please be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to stay on board and get notified when we have uh, future release videos. With that, I bid you aloha, go forth, and have a good day.